Welcome everyone to the 10th episode of World of Warcraft Treasure Trove, a series where I will show you collectibles such as transmogs, pets and other collectibles for your collection or for gold farming. In today's video we will go to the hell of Warcraft, Torghast. There are many things you can get from Torghast such as pets, transmogs, mounts and even toys. We have a lot to cover so let's not waste any more time and let's get right to it. First, we will cover the pets of Torghast. There are many you can obtain, many of which drop from a certain wing. You can obtain these pets by killing the last boss of the fifth floor. Since there is not a special process of obtaining these, I will just mention the ones you can get and from which wing they drop. The Torghast Lurker, which drops from Motrigar. Severs which drops from the Upper Reaches, Jar of Ashes, which gives you Ashen Chomper, which drops from Skodes Hall, Frenzied Maw Rat, which drops from Skodes Hall, Tower Death Roach, which drops from Coldheart Interstitia, Hissing Death Roach, which drops from Coldheart Interstitia, Maw Crawler, which drops from Fracture Chambers. Maw Stalker, which drops from the Soul Forges. There is also one pet that can drop from the Adamant Vault's last boss, which is on the 7th floor. You unlock Adamant Vaults by doing a flawless run, which requires you to clear mostly everything, collect all Anima Spheres, rescue all souls, etc. You need a score of at least 200 for your run to be considered flawless. The pet in question is called Gilded Dark Knight. Then there are three pets that drop from Torghast achievements. Deathseeker for completing layer 2 of Twisting Corridors. Lightless Tormentor for clearing layer 1 of the Jailer's Gauntlet. Mortal Evening Star for researching every talent in the box of many things. Now that we have all the pets out of the way, we can move on to the mounts. First of which is the Moss Worm Charger, which you get from achievement Flawless Master Layer 12. For this, you have to clear every wing of Torghast, excluding the Jailer's Gauntlet and Twisting Corridors, on rank 12 or above, on Flawless. The next mount has the same requirement, but for higher layers. The mount in question is called Colossal Soul Shredder Morad, which you obtain by completing every wing of Torghast on layer 16, on Flawless again. The next mount on the list is called Corridor Creeper, which you get for completing layer 8 of Twisting Corridors. Twisting Corridors is a bit different to your original Torghast runs. There are 18 floors on each layer, meaning you'll need to clear 144 layers of Torghast in Twisting Corridors just to get this mount. The next mount is called Colossal Ebenclaw Morad, which you gain for completing Jailer's Gauntlet on Layer 4. The Jailer's Gauntlet, like Twisting Corridors, is a bit different. In this mount, you'll just clear through waves of enemies in a single room. The last and the most annoying mount to farm from Torghast is the Colossal Umberhide Morat. This mount is a random drop from any boss in Torghast from layer 13 and above. Also this mount can drop from the Adamant Vaults bosses, so while farming for the Flawless Master achievement, you might get lucky and get this mount in the process. This basically means that you'll have two shots of this mount per run, if you do it flawless of course. Another thing worth mentioning is that you can farm this mount non-stop, meaning you can get it in one day if you farm Torghast the whole day. Now that we have the mounts out of the way, let's talk about the toys of Torghast, which there are four of. The Adamant Vaults Cell, which can drop from any boss in Adamant Vaults. Box of Rattling Chains, which can drop from bosses of any wing of Torghast, but only from layers 9 to 12. Dominated Hearthstone, 
which you get as a reward for clearing the Jailer's Gauntlet Layer 2. Experimental Anima Cell, which you can buy from a vendor for 300 Phantasma. And Help of the Dominated, which you get as a reward for clearing the Twisting Corridors Layer 4. And for the last part of the video, we have Transmogs. There are so many Transmogs you can get. Some of them you get as a random draw from a boss, and some of them you buy from a vendor, which is on the 3rd and the 5th floor. It is worth mentioning that there are two types of Transmogs. One which draw from the layer 5, or from the vendors. And the ones that draw from the boss of Adam and Bolts, or can be bought from the vendor on the 7th floor. The main difference between them is that the transmox from the adamant bolts are golden, while the others are more metal looking. Also I should mention that the transmox drop only from bosses of layer 9 and above. Another thing to note is that while doing all these runs, you will complete some of the achievements required for the tower ranger, which is required for the shadowlands meta achievement back from beyond which I added back in 10.2.6 and it rewards you with a new mount called Zoval's Soul Leader. The pets don't go for a lot on the auction house, but in case you are wondering, this is how much they go for on my realm, EU Silvermoon, which is one of the more populated realms. Phew, that's a lot of stuff right there. Good luck farming all these items and stay positive, even if you are in the literal hell of Warcraft. Thanks for watching the video, enjoy your new cosmetics, good luck, and I'll see you in the next one. Later.